Hello, my name is Dawn Hall, and I'm a faith community nurse for a Friendship United Methodist Church in the Brown Summit community. And we've come together today to make a series of videos on, to help you get back into your community and into your church safely. This video is about gloves. We really don't recommend the use of gloves with COVID-19 because I think it gives you a false sense of security. Anytime your gloves have touched a dirty surface, they're just as dirty as your hands. But we are going to go over gloves today because many of us will be assisting in the disinfecting of our church. And in those cases, we're going to need to wear gloves to protect our hands from chemicals. Gloves are also wonderful with types of viruses that are in secretions in blood that can enter our body through a break in our skin. So if you're ever taking care of someone with HIV AIDS, um, hepatitis, those are things that we wear gloves for to protect our skin. But I really think good hand washing and use of hand sanitizer is much better for most of us than trying to wear gloves. Now, let's look at how we take a glove, put a glove on and take it off. And also, if you're buying gloves for your church, they're a little easier to come by now. Um, most of them will come in boxes like this, and I suggest you get three sizes, small, medium, and large. If you try to squeeze a small glove on a big hand, you're going to tear it. Or you may have a micro tear and not know that it's there. And then if there's something, um, a germ or a chemical that could damage your hands, it's going to go through the glove. The other thing is if the glove is too big. A large glove, water just gets down in it, your disinfectant's gonna get in it, germs go right down in it. So you're gonna make sure you have a glove that fits you properly. Now, these gloves are clean, they're not sterile. So you want to wash your hands before you stick your hands in this community box so that you're not putting your germs in there. So you're gonna wash your hands thoroughly. The next thing is, you're gonna dry your hands thoroughly because if your hands are wet, these gloves are not going on. Pretend I washed my hands. Then you're gonna get your gloves out and put them on. And if you've discovered these gloves are too tight or are too big, then you're gonna to have to change sizes. So now you're gonna put your gloves on after you've washed your hands and you've dried them thoroughly. Once your gloves are on and you do not see any visible tears, you're welcome to go ahead and do your disinfecting. If you tear your glove, you're just gonna to need to go back and get another one. Another thing people have asked me is, can I go wash my hands with these gloves on or can I reuse them? No, these are disposable. Possibly washing your hands one or once or twice is okay when we're in these gloves. But what I suggest to you is that when you're cleaning is that you go from clean to dirty. So in other words, if you're cleaning, you need to clean your sanctuary and you need to clean your restroom, start with the sanctuary and then move to the restroom where it is dirtier so you're not carrying germs on your hands in a place that um, we know has lots of germs to a place that is cleaner. So once you're finished, you're gonna take your gloves off and you do not want to touch this, the outside of the gloves. So you're gonna put your finger under here pull it off inside out. Then I just grasp this glove here into this hand and do the same here and toss it in the trash. Now you've never touched the dirty part of the glove. Now go wash your hands again. There is a possibility that there was a tear in that glove and you need to get something off of it. Since we are talking about gloves and disinfectants, disinfectants will have warning on the back of what personal protective equipment you need to wear. Most of the time it is just gloves. Sometimes it is a mask if it lets, if it disperses fumes into the room. Sometimes you might want to wear a gown because if it's bleach it could stain your clothes. Gowns are very hard to come by so if you're helping clean in the church I would just get an old shirt or a smock or something that you don't care about and put it over your clothes. The other thing on the back of the disinfectant is how long it should stay wet on a surface to kill COVID-19. Now many of these disinfectants were made before COVID-19 even came out so it's not addressed on the label. If you go to the CDC website they have a list 
of EPA accepted disinfectants because we all know we can't get the same thing. They're very, very hard to find. Go on there and see their suggestion. Number one, how long it needs to kill COVID and what you can compare it to on the back of here, such as the flu. It may say, keep the surface wet as long as five minutes because that's how long it takes to kill the flu and that compares to the COVID-19. So always read your labels because if you wipe down a surface that needs to stay wet for five minutes and only stays wet for one minute, you have not killed the COVID-19 virus. If you are wearing mask, gown, and gloves, you will put on your gown first, then your mask, and then your gloves. You do the opposite to take it off. Take your gloves off, your mask off, and then your um, gown. In summary, wash your hands before you put on your gloves and dry them thoroughly. Put your gloves on. If you tear your gloves, replace them. When you're finished with your gloves, you want to turn them inside out, throw them away, and wash your hands again. And remember to read your labels on all your dis disinfectants for how long it should stay on the surface and your proper personal protective equipment. And thank you for watching this video.